I was doing a workshop on shamanism, and I noticed in the program there was another person who was doing shamanic work also. And I looked around in this room, and I saw this gentleman whose picture was in the thing, and I went, cool, someone else that understands that will help ground that energy, because if you've done shamanic work, it's not necessarily the mainstream paradigm, right? You know, having a part of your soul leave your body, go to the spirit realm, connect with spirit entities, have a conversation, interaction, and bring it back to affect your life here. There are diagnostic categories in the <laughs> <laughs> um, Fortunately, I've been doing it for over 42 years, and I understand that it's um, not psychotic. I know the difference. But there is a, a different quality of being. There's a different way of accessing knowledge, a different way of learning, that when you open up to the shamanic way, or especially a lot of the indigenous traditions, it gives you a kind of information that isn't necessarily available in rational consensus consciousness. So, <clears throat> Pio Luigi today, as his top topic is epistemology of second attention towards a science of consciousness. And if you read the little thing, um, you want to know, but if you didn't, he says epistemology is a branch of philosophy that deals with the um, no, I can't even read. The um, oh, conditions under which it is possible to have scientific knowledge and with the ways to identify and communicate this. And as we all know, psychologists, communication is a really important tool that we have, a really important uh, ability to be able to communicate what we're doing in transpersonal psychology to our clients and to the larger world. Um, as he says, to propose a new epistemology means to suggest new rules for the game, for a new game, which is what he will be talking about today. Now, Pierre Luigi is a pretty impressive person. If you get a chance to talk with him during the, the seminar, I suggest that you do. He's not only a medical doctor, he's a psychotherapist, he's a professor, he's an author, he's a poet, he's a consultant. He's a founder and director of the Interval Transpersonal Institute in Milan that teaches a school for counselors as well as psychotherapists. He's the founding editor of the Interval Transpersonal Journal, which is the official journal of Euritas, with the European Transpersonal Association. He's a co-vice president of Euritas, and he also finds time to be a loving husband and he also just recently grandpa. joined the club. <laughs> this young man is a grandpa of a very healthy young boy. He is a visionary. He started, as he came out of medical school, he started an alternative healing clinic in Milan. It was the first one that was in Milan back in the early 80s. So he was like way ahead of the game as far as alternative and complementary medicine. Uh, and also in 1982, he had a very powerful mystical experience that he may talk about, where he went to Brazil and met with some spiritual healers that completely changed his paradigm, how he saw the world, his worldview. He had a very powerful experience that brought about a change in not only himself, but how he saw psycho psychology and psychotherapy. And he started this, what he calls biotrans energetics, which is very kind of simply, if you want, a combination of Afro-Brazilian shamanism, bioenergetics, and clinical psychotherapy. In 1984, he started teaching this. He gave his first workshop. He's written several books on this form of transpersonal psychotherapy. He's presented in over 50 conferences around the world. And it's something like 35,000 clinical hours where he does research and practice and combining to develop this more and more. And he's doing a weekend workshop, as you probably saw in your packet this weekend. So if you're interested, talk to him or I, and uh, we can give you more information on that. He also is just a remarkable human human being. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I get emotional, <laughs> things like this. 
And it's just, if you have the chance to meet this man, not only is he a, a brilliant scholar, an incredible psychotherapist, but just uh, a wonderful human being. So, before I start writing, I will introduce you to Dr. Pierre Luigi Lapuana. Thank you.